What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today in this video guys. Well, we're going to talk about how to get your funds onto Phantom. So a lot of people are asking and saying like, how do I get on Phantom? It's so hard. It's so difficult. Ah, ah, gas fees, this I'm on Matic. What? All right. By the time you guys finish this video, you will know like 20 different ways on how to get to Phantom. It is super easy. There should be no complaints whatsoever besides some of the bridges having a lot of fees. So let's go and get into the video, explain a couple things and show you guys the different bridges. First off is seller network. Seller is a newer bridge. The total transaction volume is only about 28 million. So make sure you guys DYOR and try with a little bit of funds at once and transfer and see how it works. But this one is multi-chain and I just disappeared. Well, Phantom of the Opera got me. So you can do Ethereum, Polygon, XDAI, Avalanche, any of these all the way over to Phantom. So why would you even try anything else? Well, it's up to you what you want to do. But Avalanche, Polygon, and Binance Smart Chain, those all work pretty well. And that's where you guys have most of your funds, I assume. So you can on, honestly just use this. It's really easy to do. You just get on the chain that you're going to go on and you make the swip swap. So for example, if I want to go to Avalanche to Phantom, they don't support DAI yet. You'd have to get some USDT or USDC and you can switch swap here. From Avalanche, the fees are really not too bad. Um, but going from uh, Polygon, the fees, eh, they aren't bad either. It's about the same thing too anyways. Um, it's like a uh, tenth or no, it's like, yeah, it's 0.1%. The fees aren't too crazy on this one. The next bridge is X Pollinate. This one's one of my favorite ones. This was like the OG bridge I used to use. Um, I still use it sometimes, but this Phantom Opera chain is always clogged up. And this is also a good way to go and know what's happening, like to figure out which chains are getting the most interest. Like when Matic was popping, this would never, it was never open. It was always filled up, especially from going Binance Smart Chain to Matic. So right now, based on these totals, it looks like Binance Smart Chain and Phantom are getting the most traction right now. A lot of people are starting to leave Matic, but hey, when people leave Matic, the rewards will go up over there and more people will flow back in. Everything goes in cycles, but hey, time will tell. We'll see what would, we'll see what happens. The reason why I like Phantom a little bit better than others is because, well, it's a layer one. So to use uh, Xpollinate, it's a similar concept to TZ. You just switch the chain you're going to be swapping from and switch to the chain that you're going to be going to. You hit swap and it just makes sure your exit liquidity has enough for what you're trying to transfer. So if you're trying to send $100 in USDC to Phantom, it ain't going to happen because there's only a dollar that's able to be transferred. So this bridge is basically closed for that. So that's something to keep in mind. So that's Xpollinate, you got Seller, and then you also got Evo DeFi. Evo DeFi is just for using USDC. That's something to keep in mind, guys. Don't come over to Evo DeFi and think you're gonna be trading nuts and ham and do whatever you want. No, there's only a certain amount or a certain token that you can do. Right now it's just USDC. You can go from Polygon to Phantom and whatever. The reason why I like Evo DeFi a little bit better than others besides the fees. I hate the fees. The fees are redonkulous. Seller doesn't give you a um, airdrop or not airdrop, but I guess you can say a faucet token. You can get faucet phantom or phantom from a faucet through different discords. Just check out the spooky swap discord, um, spirit swap discord, or even the tarot discord, tater tot, or even phantom alerts. Um, you guys can get some free airdropped phantom over there. You can get it like once per month. So you can make transactions when you get over there. So when you use a transaction on Evo DeFi, 0.1 phantom with every bridge transaction. You guys kind of want to see how this works. You literally just unlock your wallet. You do your MetaMask. And let's say we want to do one USDC or 100 USDC. Um, you can just transfer it over. It's super easy to do. The next one is AnySwap. AnySwap is a little bit difficult to use. Uh, it's not really difficult. It, the UI is just not really there. Uh, the UI is kind of clunky. So I actually like to use SpookySwap. SpookySwap is basically the same thing as AnySwap, but it has its own interlay over here. And there are no fees on this one. This is why I like this one. No fees to go in. So that's something to keep in mind. I know a lot of y'all are like, well, I'll just use Evo DeFi or Seller. Well, they have fees on them. So depending on how much you're sending, it could be better to send it here. What you do is you literally connect your wallet. 
you switch to the network that you're going to and you switch to the chain so say for example you want to go from ethereum to phantom all you do is you select the token on ethereum that you want to swap and you can pick any and every token. Also, the reason why this is different than Seller is Seller only has a select few coins. Spooky Swap Bridge will allow you to select a, a number of different coins that are on Ethereum and bring it over to Phantom. You can also switch over from Binance Smart Chain. However, the Binance Smart Chain only allows you to swap one token. That's BNB, but that's okay. You can swap your BNB and sell it on Phantom. Remember when you swap over here though, just keep in mind, when you switch it over, you do not get any phantom tokens. So if you have no phantom over there, make sure you take advantage of the faucets that are in the spirit swap discord, spooky swap discord, or phantom alerts discord. Or you can just simply use Evo DeFi, make a transaction, and you'll get 0.1 phantom. So that's up to you what you want to do. So guys, those are a couple of bridges that you guys can use. Me personally, which ones do I like the most? Well, I like Spooky Swap because that was good for Ethereum. I could transfer over uh, certain tokens that I wanted that were ERC20s that weren't on any of the other bridges like Xpollinate and Seller. Um, I do like Xpollinate when it was full, but now it's never full, so I really don't use that one much anymore. Evo DeFi, I like it for its speed, its UI, it's quick, and it gives you that faucet but it has the highest fees. So that one, uh, it's okay. Um, when you're sending small amounts, it's not too much. But when it's bigger, it kind of you can kind of see the difference in it. Seller Bridge, I really like that one for transferring from Avalanche. Um, the reason why is I haven't really seen any other bridges that bridge really well from Avalanche. I mean, you can do it on Iniswap, but it's kind of clunky and it's not really fun. So the best one to use is like Seller. So depending on what chain you want to go on, I would use Seller for Avalanche. I would use Evo DeFi if you guys have no faucet tokens and you're only doing a little bit to go from Matic or Polygon to Phantom. Or if you guys have a lot and you guys want to bridge from Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum, you can use Spooky Swap. Or if you have a bunch of Sable Coins, depending on how big the bag is, like if it's super big, you probably want to use spooky swap because there's no transaction fee. Um, but if it's just middle big and the gas fees are going to cost more to go from Ethereum, you'd probably want to use something like your seller. And then Evo DeFi is just something like you can use this if you have no none over there, just like a quick transactions, good UI. So those are the different bridges you guys can do, use. All of them work good. If I brought you guys any value, I would appreciate just three things, a like, a subscribe, and hit that bell button. That way you guys are notified every time we make a new one. Let's go ahead and leave you guys with a wisdom one-liner. We're in Proverbs chapter 17, verses 19, I believe. Proverbs chapter 17, verses 19. Whoever loves a quarrel loves sin. Whoever builds a high gate invites destruction. That's so true, man. Do you like to fight with people? No, don't be that person. If someone wants to pick a fight with you, realize that they're trying to make you mad and just be like, yeah, bro. Here, let me just buy you lunch. Make them mad. Do, do so good to them that they're like, dude, what the pants is wrong with you? Just try it. It's fun. Gotta say thanks to the patrons. Sean Bot, Da Man, Tariq Liu, T.L. King, JP, PJ, Bernito, Dagonacho, Matthias, Matt There Is, DMC Coats, Isn't That a Band? Pork Ryan, Aw, Snap, Roslav Alexandrovich, Don't Mess With the Russian Boys. Dogs, thanks for watching. All right, guys, if you want to catch me on TikTok, I do daily wisdom one-liners and let you guys see the pets and behind-the-scenes junk. So here it is. Scan it. Check it out. Bomb, bomb. All right, so next off, guys, if you guys want to support the channel and get paid to do it, you guys can check out Celsius. Celsius is fire, dude. So what's so cool about Celsius is, guys, first off, you can get $40 in free BTC using my referral link in the description below. Just deposit 100 bucks. Add in the uh, code BTC50. You will also get an additional $50 if you deposit $400, guys. It's free BTC. Next is Voyager, guys. I also got a referral link in the description below. Instead of just only getting $25, you'll get $25 and some free VGX tokens, guys. Next is BlockFi. BlockFi is part of the quadruple threat. Go ahead and make a deposit. Use this referral link in the description below. You get $100. Depending on how much you deposit, you can get all the way up to, guess how much? 250 bucks.
All right, so what the pants is Celsius and Block 5.4. Well, you can use both of those as like your bank. They get some pretty nice juicy yields. And Voyager is more so like trading, and it gets some juicy yields as well. And the last one to try is Crypto.com, guys. You can trade some like smaller altcoins, and you guys will get $25 in CRO once you guys get the Visa card. Why do I like the Visa card? Well, you can sell crypto and buy some junk with it so i can buy a sandwich with my crypto i don't use btc but i'll use like stable coins and junk so anyways if you guys want to support the channel that's the quadruple threat thanks for tuning in guys you'll get paid to do it